Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, custom attributes and uh, in C Sharp and .NET. So let's get started. Uh, basically what I'm talking about is like let's say you have a model and you can normally put in standard attributes like this like max length is 15 and uh, we like to be able to have custom attributes uh, that does make it a little bit easier to see how you are trying to validate various fields. So let's get started. So this question uh, just to demonstrate, let's say if I change the max length to be 5, what happens? You can see it is complaining that the string of array type with a maximum length of 5 and that's what is happening. So all we have done here is created a sample view model and we have a question which is, is this good? We are just dumping the model and uh, dumping the model is just this portion and then it does a force validation. This is just to validate that the model is good. Typically your framework or MVC or Web API would probably call these to validate the model. But uh, to just do it uh, manually you can just uh, take a look at this code and this can do the manual validation. So let's just uh, move on from this. So uh, let's say we want to add a custom attribute to this and how would you go about doing that. So let me just uh, show you that uh, basically what you want to do is look at this validation attribute class and you want to uh, inherit from that class. So I already uh, created a snippet which I can copy and uh, let's just see what it does. So this is an example of an attribute that I have created. Uh, it's inheriting from validation attribute. Uh, it's got one property bool which is uh, really not being used here. It just says get and set. Uh, but the basic thing is whenever uh, you specify your uh, my attribute uh, data annotation here, let me just copy this so that I don't make mistakes while uh, copying it. And here you can also specify uh, here you can see that we returned a false uh, when this validation had to be done and that's why it uh, returned this message uh, saying this error message. So what we can do is we can uh, customize this error message and let's say we'll just change it to our associate, see if we can are able to change the error message here. So here you can see that error message has gone changed to our associates. So basically the simple thing is uh, whatever your uh, value is being set is going to come into your attribute in, in your is valid and you can do whatever validation and you can return false or good. So let's say if I just return true, it is uh, it should be okay and then you uh, this is all set and it, uh, the validation worked. So that's kind of the basics of it. You can also set up your properties directly from here. So let's say if I wanted, I could just say my is equal to true. And then you can also use those inside this for validation. So that's how pretty much the custom validation attributes that. But uh, typically what you want to do is, uh, uh, because your fields may be interdependent on each other, you may want to validate and do more validation inside the model. And to do that, what you typically do is uh, inherit from the I validate table object interface and I have some code so I'm going to copy that so let's just uh, look at that quickly uh, here I'm going to inherit from I validate table object and here as I soon do that it's going to complain that I need to uh, implement this function called validate so I have an implementation for that so let me just copy that So if I do that, everything looks good. Uh, basically, at this point, you are validate, uh, your uh, field validation is okay, but you're validating the whole model. So I'm just simulating how to do that. Here I'm returning a success, but suppose I didn't want to return a success and based on checking my various fields, I want to be able to do something else. So what I can just do see uh, yield, return, new validation result. This is just an I enumerable that gets returned. And I'm here saying this is like a test error message and it applies to the field question. So that's that's why you can see the error message and questions is coming. If I change this to a new error message, you should get a new error message. See here you can see new error message. 
So that is basically the gist of how you can do the validation using validation attribute and I validatable object. And you want to inherit from systems component data model data on iterations. And I'll put this video on my website under Gore Associates. And thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.